back to school, back to school. Oh, what's going on YouTube? One Ellie XM here. And as my really crappy song from Adam Sandler would suggest, I am actually leaving class right now. Uh, the next semester started. My life is going to be all about school. <laughs> and it's pretty much ended. But I had an idea inspired by going to class to do a vlog that's a little bit different. I find that people tend to actually like my instructional or reviews or things where I'm giving some sort of teaching. Uh, so I kind of want to so I, I want to do a video that um, you know teaches a little bit. You learn something hopefully and I kind of want to do a series about this and for right now my idea is about science. You know, uh, being an engineer, work as an engineer and everything. Uh, STEM is something that I strongly believe in. For those of you that are unsure of what to do with their lives or careers, if you travel down the uh, science, technical, engineering, and mathematics realm, and I believe that science is something that, you know, can't really be influenced by biases too much because you can prove things. You can prove things wrong. It's objective. Uh, and, I, and I like that because it, it's true no matter what. So today's vlog is something that I encountered the other day when it was raining. And I kind of want to talk about it because I don't think really many people think about it. Uh, you know, when they drive, it just kind of happens. So on a normal dry day, or actually, should I say normal dry evening, nighttime, when your lights hit the ground, your headlights illuminate the whole ground. Like you can see really well, it illuminates directly in front of you, your headlights seem bright, you know, they seem to be working. Whereas when it rains, and it doesn't have to be even a hard rain, the road just has to be somewhat wet. Your headlights don't seem quite as bright. They don't seem like they illuminate like they did, almost as if they're dim. Aha, why is this happening? Well, we're gonna go a little bit into light rays here, and why and how they kind of act and kind of go into science behind light rays. So, when your lights, your headlights hit the ground, at a surface like asphalt, concrete, what have you. They do something called diffuse reflection. Scattering, if you will. And what that means is when your headlights hit a surface like asphalt or saw like a satin or, or a matte color, it reflects in all directions and one of those directions are right back at you so you see very clearly your headlights on the ground or on the on the pavement it happens in, in a lot of different ways say you take a laser pointer and you shine it at a matte surface you'll notice that the ray will kind of be pixelated and it'll be kind of a big circle almost diffuse reflection or scattering now so okay so that's why it's bright at night why is it seem dim during the day or why does it seem dim when it rains well when water is on top of asphalt it becomes shiny and it basically acts as a mirror or so you glossy surface with specular reflection. Meaning, none of your light rays are dispersing. They're not going anywhere. I just hit a banana peel. <laughs> none of your light rays are returning back to you. They're all going away from you. So on a glossy, shiny, wet surface, your headlights act as though you're shining a laser beam on a mirror. And you can actually see that if you test it, you put an angle in, it'll reflect out at the same angle you put it in and you'll see the red dot on a wall adjacent to where you're shining. So, 
<laughs> Those of you that have ever wondered why the hell your lights look dim when the road is wet, that's why. Specular reflection. Oh man, it's hard to talk science <laughs> while you're riding and paying attention to traffic because my mind has to work a little bit. But uh, I, I hope you guys kind of enjoy this video. It's different. If you don't believe me, refute it. Give me a link. Give me a scientific journal <laughs> entry of saying I'm wrong. And we'll talk about it. That's kind of the, uh, I, the beauty of the internet. You can find anything. It's just, it can't be a, a Wikipedia. It's got to gotta have some, some meat to it. Something that's real. Yes, I know it's not school, so who gives a shit? But I want my viewers to understand why things happen. Not just, well, it's doing it, and I don't know why. Uh, that's one thing uh, about being an engineer and being doing the type of stuff that I do. You have to ask why. Just because, or it just does. That's not enough for me. I need to know the why behind things. Because when you understand the why, you can make changes. You can understand the world better. So that's kind of what this whole series is going to be about. There's going to be other science things that I'm going to bring up. I got a buttload of optics and <laughs> why we see things the way we do. Uh, but I don't want to bore or run this out any longer than what it already is. So with that, you all have a good one. I'm going to go home, get dressed, change, shower, and then go back to class. You all have a good one. I'm out.